The judge says he considered two factors when deciding to keep Quintez Brown in federal custody. Is he a flight risk and is he a danger to the community? In both cases, the judge says evidence shows the answer is yes. U.S. District Court Judge Benjamin Beaton suggests Brown's character witnesses may have hurt his chances of being released on home incarceration instead of helping. In June 2021, Brown disappeared for 11 days. This is not normal behavior that we know from Quintez. After a community-wide search, Brown was found sleeping on a bench in New York City. Judge Beaton says the fact Brown successfully and secretly left Louisville once is evidence he could do it again. Ann says testimony from his friends and family that Brown had a, quote, mental break during his disappearance gave him further reason to keep him in custody until the case wraps up. Judge Beaton does acknowledge Brown didn't try to flee during the seven weeks he was on home incarceration for state charges he's facing. But even so, the judge says he feels the high minimum and maximum sentences Brown is facing could incentivize him to flee. Judge Beaton also feels Brown poses a danger to the community because the alleged crime is incomplete. One of the two guns Brown purchased remains unaccounted for, and Greenberg is continuing to campaign for the upcoming election. Several of Brown's friends and family testified in federal court, some of who said they are concerned for Brown's health because he appears to be in a bad mental state. I'm, I'm just trying to do what's right by that young man and, and not see him completely lost and gobbled up in the system because he's had a mental break. In the filing, the judge says Brown's defense argued he has been put on mood stabilizers and is getting counseling, but didn't explain how that treatment will keep him from being a flight risk or a danger to others. The judge pointed out on several occasions that his decision to keep Brown in federal custody by no means is him deciding whether or not he is innocent or guilty. The judge says that is up to a jury to decide. Reporting in Louisville, Rachel Droz, WHAS 11 on your side.